Hey, welcome back, guys. <clears throat> Today, I thought I'd take a look at, um, at the XFCE desktop environment and particularly the XFCE panel switcher, uh, which gives you multiple configurations that you can save and actually import and export. And I wanted to find out how well the system worked. So on this particular computer, I have uh, five different desktop D distributions all with XFCE. I have uh, Manjaro, I have Debian, I have Zubuntu, I have Linux Mint, and I have a plain vanilla Arch. And we're going to see how well this particular configuration that I have here, the dock bar on the left, how well that translates over to those other distribu distributions using XFCE and using the XFCE panel switcher uh, utility so that you, we can see number one if you work hard and you get your desktop set up the way exactly the way you want it I think it's important for especially for a new user to know that if they need to reinstall or if they want to try a different distribution with XFCE how well will that configuration that they love how well will that translate over using the XFCE import feature on the switcher? So let's take a look. Now I've got a simple dock bar on the left. I achieved that by going into panel preferences and selecting desk bar. Now that moves it on the left and then you can add launchers to it. You can add um, utilities uh, to your system tray. But once you have it set up exactly the way you want it, let's take a look at the XFCE panel switch, which I downloaded. This is Manjaro. I downloaded it from Yawert. It's called XF panel dash switch. That's the name of the program. So I have what's listed here as dock bar. Now I have a couple of different configurations, but the one we're going to try is this dock bar. Now if you go down the bottom to the these little these little icons, you can see there is an export and import remove configuration, save it and apply the configuration. So I already saved this dock bar configuration by clicking export and I saved it to my flash drive so if I click export it just asks you where to give it a name and it asks you where you want to save it I saved it in my flash drive as dock bar uh, I had two dock bar len and dock bar so the one we're gonna use is dock bar right here okay so I saved it that's all I really need to do. Now I'm going to sign into one of my other uh, XFCE distributions and see if we can import that and so and see how well it translates over. So guys, I'll be right back with you. I'm going to go into my Linux Mint XFCE install. Be right back. Okay, welcome back guys. I am in Linux Mint. <clears throat> We're going to take a look to see if the XFCE panel switcher will actually import my panel configuration properly. Now if I open up the program XFCE panel switch you'll see it has the same configurations. Right now I am on the Redmond configuration. It's got pre-configured uh, configurations. You can try any one of these but the one I'm going to try to implement is the one that I saved from Manjaro. So let's take a look. We're going to import. I got to go to my flash drive and let's do dock bar. That's the one I want. So I'm going to give it the same name dock bar. Save it. Now I'm, you can see it's appeared in my list. I'm going to click on it and click apply. And as you can see, it's translated over pretty well. I have all of the same 
applications. I've got the clock. I've got the logout button. I've got my open windows and I have my system tray utilities. I've also got my whisker menu. So in Linux Mint the program does uh, translate that saved configuration over pretty well. Now it'll keep the same color uh, based upon the theme that you have installed. But as you can see, the, the dock bar itself uh, looks good. Uh, have no issues with it on Linux Mint. Now in Linux Mint, XFCE panel switch was not installed out of the box. So you will have to install XF panel dash switch. Um, it is available in the uh, Ubuntu repositories. So guys, I'm going to move over to Zubuntu and we'll see how well this translates there. Be right back. Okay guys, I'm back in my Zubuntu install. Let's open up the XFCE panel switch. It does come uh, uh, already installed in Zubuntu. You don't have to go ahead and install it. <clears throat> so as you can see, I've already imported DocBar to my list. I'm going to click on apply and we will see how well it translates over. Okay, so let's see what the situation is here. I've got my system tray icons, I've got my whisker menu, I've got my open windows. Uh, looks like one icon did not translate over and that's because simple screen recorder is not installed in this particular desktop so I would have to remove that icon or that launcher <clears throat> so all of the other uh, terminal gparted chrome settings uh, let's see gparted looks like I have it twice gonna remove one of them so it translated over pretty well everything is here um, except for some missing icons now again if you don't have exactly the same uh, applications installed uh, in your new system then of course you'll have an icon conflict and that can be resolved by either adding or installing that missing application or removing the launcher so it looks like so far it has translated well into Zubuntu and I'm going to switch over now to my plain vanilla arch install and we will see how well that translates be right back guys okay welcome back guys this is a plain vanilla arch install uh, I'm using the Redmond configuration from the XFCE panel switch right now all I need to do is import my uh, dock bar configuration and see how well that translates over so I'm going to click on import go to my flash drive dock bar open name it it's listed there and I'm going to click apply as you can see everything translated over extremely well no problems at all open windows there's all my applications looks very very good no problems at all so now within plain vanilla arch we can see that the XFCE panel switch utility does work and it works quite well we're gonna go over and try it one more time now in Debian I'll be right back with you guys Okay, guys, I am back. I'm in my Debian uh, stable install, the new 8.7. Um, I'm using XFCE panel switch. I was able to locate it as a deb file and install it very easily. So XFCE panel switch, I'm using Redmond. I need to import my dock bar configuration so we're gonna go to the flash drive there's dock bar click open give it a name save it shows in the configuration and let's apply 
Now one thing I want to make sure of is that I have all of the same uh, applications installed. So I have Terminal, Thunar, I have Google Chrome, I have LeafPad, I have Gparted, and I have Settings. Okay, so let's let's uh, apply that. Okay, so we have all of our applications. I've got one here, Simple Screen Recorder, which I do not have installed on this particular uh, Debian install, so we will remove that. And so yeah, as you can see, I've got all my applications. I've got my open windows. I've got my uh, system tray utilities. I've got my whisker menu. So it did translate over. Again, you'll need to tweak the theming uh, because the theme will have to be the same if you want the same color. Uh, so with Debian especially, it comes with a really basic XFCE um, desktop environment. You can uh, install XFCE panel switch and set it up according to these prepackaged configurations or set it the way you want and save the configuration to use on other distributions. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this particular video. Um, XFCE panel switch does work quite well and it, it'll be a, a boon to the new user because they'll be able to set it up the way they want and not have to worry about going through that entire setup process again they can save the configuration so guys thank you very much for stopping by the channel today I hope you enjoyed the video please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon take care